with an FC TV with Chris Agatha following tonight's 2 0 win against Salisbury in the National League South. Aggie, three points, another clean sheet. Everything's going right for you at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, well, a week's a long time in football, though, Jack. You know, it uh, can turn quickly. But yeah, no, we've, um, I'm just, just really pleased that we've got the points to back up another really good performance. Um, I thought the first 20 minutes is as good as we've been this year. Uh, we were very good Saturday, but I thought the first 20 minutes tonight we were, we were. I mean, I even turned around to the dugout and said to Dean, I said, you know, we look like a good team here. But we, we were very slick against a very, very good Salisbury side. Um, and uh, yeah, very, very good performance. Um, the only disappointment perhaps is that we haven't converted as many chances as, um, as what we could have done um, because we cracked an awful lot tonight. And uh, that, would, that would be the only criticism, but uh, in the main, we're obviously delighted. It's the perfect follow-up as well to Saturday's dominant win, dominant performance. It was another dominant performance tonight. It had control of the game for large parts and limited them to very little as well. Yeah, I mean, we, we looked at this game and, um, you know, you've got to be a good team to come here and get anything and they've got a good home record. Uh, they're used to winning, um, obviously promoted last year, same as Chesham and, you know, winning is a habit and yeah, they're, they're very well coached, very well organised. Brian and his team have, have done a great job and um, I never felt they were out of the game. Um, but equally, I always felt like we were in control and the thing I liked about it is other than maybe 10 minutes either side of half time, I liked that we were playing forwards, we were aggressive in our play. Um, we weren't playing sideways and backwards too much. We were we were really aggressive, and as I said, that but potentially they, they've had ten minutes either side of half time, um, and I think that was the period of time where we have become a bit passive in our play. But when we was, as I said, aggressive and looking forwards first and bringing the forward line into play, bringing cash into play quickly, I, I thought that's when we looked um, at our best. Um, so yeah, very very happy with a very good performance, and as I said, the, the points to. That the performance deserved. You were forced into a late change today. Mo Fall, I'm presuming, dropped out injured. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Harrison, Smith, Harrison Smith, sorry, easy for me to say, yeah. came in to replace him. He's got a complicated name. Well. <laughs> I know, really, yeah, really difficult one. <laughs> but Harrison Smith came in, did really well in replacing Mo Fall today. But yeah. Mo, obviously, have you got an update on, on him? Uh, it was um, um, a repeat of what brought him off on Saturday against Western. So, uh, we hope it's um, not too serious. Um, the S and C department, the medical department, are brilliant. So they were they were very quick to say, "Nah, we've got to, we've got to make that change." But it's easy to make those decisions when you've got Harrison sitting there chomping up the bit. And I thought him and Telly were an absolute handful. Um, could have been a little bit tidier in in some of their link play. Uh, I thought some of their link play and combination play. Um, off one and two touch could have been better but you can see they're trying to do the right thing and um, obviously more time on the pitch together that would improve so um, yeah concerned about Mo and we'll get an update it's probably too early to sort of know how serious that is but equally um, Harrison has never let us down I, mean, I think he's scored six or seven goals now um, I th I'd, I'd imagine he's sort of minutes minutes to goal ratio is better than anyone so it's a uh, it's a great um, alternative. It's the season, it's saw you play two up top again for the second game in a row. Yeah. Obviously, a shape that you've found, come to like over the last couple of games, and it's caused real problems for both Western and Salisbury tonight. Yeah, I, I think it gives us opportunities to play into the forward line quicker. Um, it spreads the attention as well of our forward line. I think when we've got one up there, and the way that we've played previously, the two wide players are a little bit more withdrawn. And um, at times you can, with one up top with the two wide players a little bit deeper and withdrawn, it can leave the one isolated if if we haven't got runners off it or if it's ultimately not perfect. Um, whereas with two up top, I think, as I said, it spreads the attention of the back line a little bit, which frees up one or the other centre forwards, um, gives us a bit more threat in behind. And... Um, and equally, it, it hasn't sort of... What, you, what what can happen is you can go too direct too quickly and lose control of games. And so we've been really conscious of making sure that our patterns playing through the pitch are consistent um, to mean that we're using the front two in the right way rather than just 
smashing it forwards. Um, so we, we're bringing the front two into play when they're sort of isolated 1v1, 2v2 in big spaces, which obviously suits them too. So, um, yeah, we, we, we like the system. Uh, and I just like the fact that the opposition don't necessarily know what we're going to do because um, we've had it this year. Every team we've played has, has changed other than Borewood. Um, and it sort of makes a lot of your work um, pre-matching, doing a team talk on a tactics board around what they're going to do, a little bit redundant at times. Um, so I just like the fact we've got a bit more variation and we're keeping the opposition guessing. So, yeah, it's definitely a good option. We've spoken about the front two. There were loads of individual performances tonight to, to pick out. I'm sure I'm, I'm going to pick out a couple, but you might want to add a few yeah. more on that as well. Jack Spong, another oh. superb performance in midfield. Oh, I mean, he, he was outstanding. Um, Again, I think he's a contender for MOM. I think it was between him and Kane Wills for MOM. Um, not just uh, the pretty stuff as well and the stuff that he's known for. He's obviously uh, known for his uh, passing ability and creating scoring chances, but he's regained tonight. The amount of times he broke up the opposition's play was superb. The ground he covered, um, exceptional. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that, definitely. Kane Wills, the other was <laughs> who I was going to mention next. Yeah, he's like N'Golo Kante. Uh, that's what we said to him. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's Aaron Golo Kante. He's, um, he's going to be a big miss. He's going to be a big miss for us. But uh, yeah, we're just going to, as I said, squeeze everything out of him in the time being. And uh, you know, all the time he keeps performing like that, we'll, um, you know, we'll keep moving in the right direction because he has such a huge impact on the, on the performance of the team. Thanks, Aggie. Cheers.